Hello Pisces and welcome to your reading. This is a timeless tarot card reading for yourselves. Let's see what's in store for you when you get to see this um, video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cleanse the atmosphere and I'm going to cleanse the cards. I already cleansed them but I'm going to do it again um, just in case there's any more energies from the other cards that is still in tune in you. Okay so let's Cleanse the energy. Okay. Cleansing the cards now. Okay. So Pisces, Let's see what we have for you then. So the first card we have that I've come out for you then is the reverse seven of pentacles. So this is a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, um, Earth signs. So that is um, cashing in some money. Um, there is to be some type of investment coming in. For some of you, there may be some type of bad business management that may be um, falling into your lap, so to speak, at this time. There is to be some type of laziness to do with work and finances for some. And there may be a bit of cash flow issues also. There is some type of cutback um, many issues as well with this and a lot of overwhelmness because some of you you may be going through some type of mountain of debts at this time and um, so there is some plans that you need to do but as of yet there is no plans set in motion so you need to change some type of um plan that you need to um start focusing on and start putting the wheels in motion for Okay, you then have the Ten of Swords. So there's Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Um, so there may be a death or ending of a situation or a relationship for you. Um, for some of you, there is a brand new um, situation for you, a new love romantic. Um, some of you, you may be going through some type of mental um, breakdown or mental stress where there's a lot of exhaustion and some um, failures that have been going on for you. This could have been a bit of um, catastrophic events, feeling that you were a bit cursed, but you're not really cursed, but you feel as if you're cursed. Um, some of you are actually letting go of certain people in certain situations in your life, and it is time to move on and say your goodbyes and um, do some closure issues as well and try and surrender. Um, some of you are actually going through a phase of giving up and hitting rock bottom, uh, bottom sorry, um, where there is the lowest of the low that you are actually going through. Some of you, you feel like you have come to the end of the line for a certain situation and people may be a little bit melodramatic or they do see you as a bit of a melodramatic person. Um, there is a sense of being a victim or seeking um, attention. There may have been a bit of betrayal going on and some type of stabbed in the back as well. There may be um, also a big bitter row that had gone on or a assault attack, um, violence or an aggression or some type of crime. You may have some enemies that could be a bit disloyal that have been bad mouthing you or you feel like you've been used. There may be a bit of bullying that's getting involved. And then for some of you, this could be just linked to general back problems that you're currently going through. Nine of Cups then, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. There is happiness coming in and a lot of success where there is wishes coming true. Um, you are going to be having a good life because there's abundance and prosperous energy coming in to you with a lot of rewards and achievements as well. There is an accomplishment and your own inner happiness, having a good, strong, higher self-esteem with a lot of self-confidence and a lot of positivity. You will be feeling emotionally fulfilled at this time and feeling happy as you are. 
feeling really content and very satisfied. There is a lot of joy and smiling and laughter and congratulations and well done coming in for you. You may be feeling a bit smug at this time because there is a lot of triumphants going on. So there is a lot of celebration and socialising as well. You may be going through a phase that you're actually going to be making love and pleasure seeking at this time as well and having your own time and having a lot of luxuries coming in. Seven of Swords is Aquarius, Gemini, Libra signs. So this is using your own logic, um, adapting to change and plotting and planning things. Someone may be doing some mind games and using some tactics and daring behaviour around this time. There may be a little bit of danger lurking and risk taking as well. Someone may potentially be running away from a situation and not looking where they are going. Um, someone may have the side of being very cunning and sneaky with a lot of infidelity going on, a theft or being very deceitful. This could be also an enemy or a spy that is um, lurking around you. Reverse King of Pentacles then, um, which is a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So this is about someone that is going to be very unsuccessful, someone that's going through financial loss um, with insecurities and things being very unsuccessful for this person. There could be bankruptcy involved, um, a person that's being a risk taker and gambling, being a bit of a money mad person um, and money grabber or obsessive over money. There may be some overspending and a lot of debts coming in as well. The feeling of being broke and being impatient. There's poor judgment and someone that's been doing some type of shoddy work. Someone that likes bribing and doing some type of corruption. This could be to do with some type of loan shark as well. Someone that's very angry, cold and ruthless. Someone that is very jealous of you that has a lot of possessive energy about them. There is a lot of laziness. This person may be a bit obese as well. They could be an animal abuser or just in general neglect animals or neglect and abuse the environment around them. Reverse Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn sign. This is about a person that is money mad. Um, someone that's money grabbing, um, someone that likes to go on in bed adventures, someone that's very shallow. They can be a bit self-centred and very unfriendly when they want to be. They have a lot of jealousy about them and a lot of envy as well. Very possessive, very wicked, very untrustworthy. But they do have a lot of insecurities going on and, you know, this with this financial loss is not going to be very um, good for this person because they are going to be going through some type of poverty or they have some type of poor housekeeping. Um, there is some type of chaos and neglect that may be involved with this person. Um, something is going to be out of control. This person may be a bit overweight or stuck in a certain rut. There may be OCD that's entailed to boy illness. There is uh, mentions of a child neglect that may be linked with this person as well and some type of animal neglect. Someone that is very tedious and very boring and stubborn as well. And this could be a person that may be introducing into prostitution or some sort of abuse. Okay. Page of Swords, so this is an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra sign. Okay, there is plans and ideas coming to the fore. Um, there is some inspiration and there is an enemy that is being lurking around you. So what you need to do is be very vigilant, be very alert and be very guarded and protective and defensive as well. There is a lot of courage and mental challenges that's coming in. Um, there is a person that's very honest and very truthful. They're going to be very direct and using facts. They're also going to be a bit fair as well. They do have a lot of standards and morals and they have a lot of communication about them. Uh, there is a negotiation that's come in as well. This person may have some type of slight accent 
Um, and if you know this person that has a slight accent, then you know this is the person um, we're talking about. Um, this person can be very talkative, very witty. They could be a public speaker or very political. There is a lot of curious thinking with this person. They are very serious. There is some stress and worry and concerns about this person as well. Um, they can become a bit agitated. They are very brainy because they have a lot of high achievements. Um, there is a lot of qualifications as well. This person may potentially be um, a soldier or just a, just a spy. Um, and there may be a news of some type of legalities that's coming in as well. This could be to do with a child. Um, and there may be some type of gossip around the situation as well. You then have the reverse chariot with the cancer water sign. So this is about some type of disaster that's on the horizon. Um, someone that's going to be losing control because there's a lot of repressed emotions that's going to be surfacing, um, feeling very overwhelmed um, and don't go on and on to anyone or something learning from mistakes and releasing any old negative patterns. There could potentially be some car issues that you may be going through or some traveling issues. And then for others, it may be just the sense of overreacting too much about something. Fourth cups then is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Water signs. So there is gonna be a bit of a boredom that's popping in. Um, there may be someone or something that's going to be trying to give you an offer of something but you're not interested whatsoever because you feel very detached. You may be doing some meditation at this time. There is a sense of being very tired and having a lot of fatigue and being very withdrawn as well, being very depressed and unaware of some type of opportunities that's coming in. But some of you, you may miss this opportunity um, just a slight there is a lot of um, fantasizing and daydreaming coming in as well. And some of you, you may be um, getting a bit hangover as well. You then have the temperance card, which is the Sagittarius card. So there it is to be balance coming in and harmony. You may be testing water. You will be putting the past behind you and gaining some clarity and inner peace as well. You may be coming in contact with a counsellor or someone that is of a holistic therapist or healer. There is a rebirth and success coming in with peace and tranquility as well. There is a lot of healing and forgiving because there's also some type of blessing in disguise that's coming as well. Seven of Cups is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. There is to be some type of soul searching finding out where you fit in, um, you will be finding yourself uh, and there is a lot of searching for a certain purpose and having a lot of emotional needs, being very honest with yourself as well. There is to be a lot of priorities that you're going to be having and there is some type of hidden identity that's coming out and that's going to be enlightened. Um, there is a meditation that I'm sensing that someone is going to be doing at this time as well. There is a lot of fantasy thinking and daydreaming with a lot of illusions. Some of you may have a certain hallucination around this time. There is procrastination and wishful thinking that's coming in as well. And a multiple choices coming in and decisions. There's also opportunities as well. There may be some type of addiction that you or another person may be currently going through and letting things go as well and being very withdrawn with this. You have the judgment card which is Scorpio. So there's good and bad news coming out that's going to be exposed. Um, someone's going to be accepting full responsibilities. There is forgiveness and someone that's going to be forgiven. There is an awakening of clarity. There's confessions that's coming out and fighting for a certain cause. There's a lot of determination and a clear communication coming in also. Reverse Six of Wands, this is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius sign. Whatever you've been questioning, the answer to that is no. There is also failure or losing out on someone or something. 
there is to be delays or setbacks coming in there is a feeling of having bad luck with there is frustration being very disappointed disappointed some of you may have a lot of broken promises that's been in your way as well someone is being very unsupportive and a bit disgraceful i'm sensing as well it is to be some type of unwelcome news and it is to be of something that is lost or stolen the devil card which is capricorn someone is actually obsessing over someone or something um, there is also jealousy and false promises coming out as well. There's to be tempting offers and choosing partners for their looks or money and not in it for the love side of things, only as a trophy wife or trophy husband. Someone is going to be very controlling and blaming people. There's a sense of hiding from someone or marrying for money. Feeling very trapped with a lack of control sex without love and dominance there's also violence and saving yourself from a negative situation you then have the hierophant in reverse which is a taurus sign so there is going to be a breaking of rules um, you need to think about yourself for once either you or someone else live by their own rules making own decisions changing of a religion or leaving school or college Someone is actually really rebellious. Someone's not been very traditional. There may be some infidelity or some that have been sinned. There is someone that's been very judgmental and very arrogant around this time also. Reverse Ten of Wands then. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So this is about nearly there. Sorry, wrong one. Yeah. Ten of Wands reverse. This is about taking on more than you can handle and learning to say no to people. Um, you are going to be letting go of things that no longer serve you and that you don't need to do. You are doing too much that you shouldn't be doing. For some of you, you're actually moving home or having a clear out. Others, you are going to be working 24-7 and going to be taken advantage of in a certain situation. So I want you to think and try and, like as a warning, to be careful. This is like a warning for you. Last card then is the Eight of Swords. And this is Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. There is some restrictions going on with a lot of stagnation. There may be a crisis or drama going on. Confusion or being unfocused. There may be illusions or feeling... Um, imprisoned or someone is going to prison or being incarcerated um, because there is a sense of prison that is unable to face problems someone that has no options um, or being backed into a corner there's self-sabotage and fear issues along with terror and being depressed um, a negative attitude towards people a feeling of hopelessness and going straight down at breaking point you or this person may be a victim, a victim. someone's being very criticised, blaming people, being very punished, being very judgmental. There may be a lawsuit or trials or juries or consequences that's uh, entailed with this and also isolation or silencing. Okay then Pisces, so that is your reading. I hope it will resonate to, to some extent. If so, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And I see you again soon. Bye.